All right, guys, so this is the final pool. This is pool D. Here you are going to see Winged Wheel against Night King against Superfly. So this will be the last pool, which is going to lead to the semifinals and the finals, which is just going to be one video. I'm not trying to stretch this out on a reasonable length. Uh, and now we have Reminix, and he's so, he had so much life to this. So, you know, hang back, enjoy the show, and I'm going to see you guys at the end. All right, Night King hailing from Multiverse versus <laughs> Winged Wheel. Anomaly Detected, the newcomer in Anomaly Detected. AD. It's AD. Oh, and uh, just flexing that that might that's what that's the flex. <laughs> that, if you, if you... That's the brain power flex, eh? That's the saying I'm not afraid of you getting the second and third pick, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Spamming our competitors, guys. Come on. You're better than this. It's awesome. I love the fact that we can see that. <laughs> the Omega Red pick coming in. Definitely a favorite of our competitors tonight. Uh, I think Omega Red is, has uh, definitely been contributing to a lot of the wins here tonight, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see him in most of the counters. Mm -hmm. Or in, in the, uh, yeah, comps. And there's Sam watching the other ones here. Don't act like <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Come Sam, Edgy coming in. You guys are going to get your friends in trouble. Having issues with Discord? Alright, Superfly, you got some time to figure it out, and we'll pull you in. Uh, I, I do have you, like, muted and deafened and not pulled in the channel right now. I know you're listening on Twitch. Uh, but we'll figure it out when we're done here. Alright, so Shang-Chi, another solid pick. Uh, I think the Shang-Chi... Captain Sam combo is actually really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. And there is the Silver Surfer. That's just built in speed, and uh, you can't leave him alone too long. That ult goes off, you have a lot more power. And Lady Death Strike, I mean, I think she's one of my favorite hits in this game, period. She's so strong with that 127 speed. She's going before characters like Icarus and Silver Surfer with that turn meter rewind to adjacent targets. Really powerful in here. Yeah, did you guys see the speeds on the... on? Of Doctor Voodoo and um... Morbius, and Morbius, yeah, yeah. Morbius is edging them all out with 128, which is very interesting. And Voodoo's no uh, no slowpoke either at 120. He's going to be very fun to play in war. Yeah, the 128 I thought was really interesting. Old Jazz Hands over there is really uh, surprising uh, what he can do, and those bleeds are going to be devastating. Yeah, we got the Ultron pick. That's a, a shout out back to the old PVP. See how it plays here. I do think he's really strong, especially with that red guardian protecting him on the other end over there. I just hope he's gonna ban Lady Death Strike and then take advantage of the of the bot kills and get the extra speed up. So I, I am a little bit worried about that. Um surprised about this Icarus pick. He's just gonna summon him. Uh actually it's it's early damage. I don't know. I maybe Surprisingly enough, Icarus Icarus still does decent damage. He doesn't have the same stats he has, but Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what that call in does definitely, you know, somebody like, like Surfer is going to get a, a, a nice extra hit. True. With that early speed. I guess the reason I was surprised is because, like, he could have tricked his opponent or forced his opponent to ban the Icarus, leaving the rest of his characters, if he didn't ban that Cersei already. Yeah. So we right. got the, both middle characters are banned. Captain Sam and Omega Red kick rocks. I think we're about to see... One of the crowd favorites here in Baron Zemo. Yep, there it is. I think he wants the Baron Zemo to prevent that first turn taunt uh, from being stripped. And I think that's what he's going for is to build build the, the team instead of going for instant tempo. I think you're right. And he's gonna he's got a protection for that uh, Kestrel and the Ultron over there if he can stop that surfer. Easier said than done. Without red stars on Zemo, he has a very hard time landing the defense up strips on the surfer and landing the ability block. Looks like he ran out of time, though. Who oh, did he get? There's, there's that Black Bolt. This is what we call the backdoor damage combo. You're not going to kill Black Bolt really easily at all. And so... Dwight, get out of here. <laughs> I love I, I love that, that 
Fight's feeling better. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. So he did get the defense upstrip. Will he land the uh, the ability block now? Is the question. Yeah, that's a, that's always a gamble, right? Because if you, even if you land the ability block, you gotta re, you gotta return around. And I think that's the best play right there. I think that ability block right there is gonna save him because overall speed, he's checking the speed. He's gonna he's gonna be able to take four characters right out of the get go. Now here is where this becomes dangerous. Is burp a burp a burp? And Ultron's gone. So Zemo, oh, that's that's a big playback. Can he get rid of the Emma before she goes? He definitely does here. Oh my lord, yeah. Kestrel one v three though maybe. I kind of I kind of like predicted this match earlier. And I was like, oh, but the black hole surf, surfer combo is really dangerous. It's just this, if you can get him off, I don't think he would have been able to solve that with, with that much with the the combo. Ooh, and there he goes. And so, but one tap and it is not done. Can this is the age old? Question. Oh, <laughs> and it's now answered. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oops. Surfer better than Kestrel, at least in balance PvP in this match in particular. So Winged does pick up the victory over Night King. Uh, well played, Wing. It's uh, oh a my mute. I, I probably should have talked about that Black Bolt uh, Surf combo. Oof. We're good. All right, we're uh, we're kicking it in live. A little bit There's late. Here, Chris Ban and Doctor Doom already sitting on the bench. See you later. Let's see what Night King does here. And still with the flex, let's <laughs> go. He aims to please. Yeah, for those who don't know, Night King runs a uh, YouTube channel as well, where he has very interesting war counters he throws up there. He's a very interesting theory crafter. Uh, you should definitely go check him out. I'll uh, I'll include his YouTube in the description below on the YouTube. And if someone can link it in Twitch chat, that'd be great. And I got a mute and deafen you guys. So there it is. There is a silver surfer pick, and I do like that Omega Red. Uh, really, really, really both solid. And, and I think these are that the new metas we talked about in the old days. The old days of uh, balance draft have changed quite a bit with these characters as they get more powerful each time. Mm -hmm. Especially that surfer with his passive of the offense up when somebody dies. Devastating damage early. Yeah, I think that Cersei pick is actually really, really good. What it does is it prevents the block on uh, Omega Red because Cersei's just going to clear it on her turn. Yes, that's true. Uh, I haven't, we haven't had a Zemo win yet, I don't think, and he's been used in almost every match tonight. Uh, I wonder if he won the second one that I saw. I can't remember. I mean, did he? Did he not win any of them? I, I don't think he's definitely lost the majority of his matches. Little Zemo paper. Yes, he has definitely made a paper. Oh, there's Lady Deathstrike, though. I do like Lady, De Lady Deathstrike with her passive deathproofs and uh, dodges. Keeps her in the game a little bit longer. Evade, deathproof. What a powerful combo. Mm hmm. Let's see who Night King goes for here. And there's the Adam Warlock mm. pick. I don't hate that at all. Adam Warlock does a great job. You gotta kill him twice. Yes. Oh, and he has the best cleansers, in my opinion, for this balance draft in Emma and Cersei. So he's got two ability blocks from two very big damage characters in Omega Red and Adam Warlock. Yeah, so what he's doing is like he's stacking ability block. He's just basically saying, bring it. He's got some really big power here. Um, I, I am a little concerned about Superfly's early damage. I feel like it may be a little bit to overcome, and you may not see these characters that can find to take a turn. Um, but we'll have to see more about that. But Emma does give him an edge if he gets a keeper. keeper. That's true. We're running out of time, Superfly. Every single time I see uh, Emma go to the bench, I think it's Cyclops calling her back home. Oh no! Oh no! That is definitely a I ran out of time pick. Oh my. Well, uh. Hoping for the Kree rework. <laughs> Mid fight. <laughs> well. Let's see if Night King wants to do him a favor and ban that Kree Reaper or take the easy win. We'll see. Hey, I mean, you know, Night King could be... Wow. Well, nope. I'll take the easy win. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Nobody trash Night King. This, this was a gift given to him, and you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't understand what that saying means, but it is what it is. It's, uh, you know, literally from 
Greeks, buddy. Yeah, well, I'm Canadian, so. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's the Trojan horse. It's the horse ah, horse. okay. Yeah. Are you a teacher? You're not a teacher, but you taught uh, me. You just took me to school. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I mean, the, my favorite comment of the night is, I'm, I don't know anything about Greek history. I'm Canadian. <laughs> And we're off, and we'll see how the Screen Noble uh, handles her business here. Uh, I'm glad there isn't a little bit of speed here. All right, so again, we're going to see the early damage here. And the turn rewind, get a couple characters, but Phoenix is going to come up, but that'll be quickly cleansed um, in the right timing here. And I think we're going to see... This stops at percentile damage. Oh, here comes more speed. This is over before it begins. It's not over quite yet. We're gonna we're gonna get an ult from, uh, and he, I think he wants the basic here on Cersei. We're gonna get an ult from Silver Surfer with offense up. Maybe that's the whole trick. Was I have I have a weaker character now? I'm gonna have an offense up ult going into this. There's that turn rewind. So this isn't over. That special is gonna be devastating when it goes off in just a moment here. Yeah. To clear a ton of buffs. I'm a little surprised he didn't try and kill the Kestrel with his Emma basic attack instead of special. I think he wanted to hit Shang-Chi there. I'm not sure. So I think we're going to see... Oof. Going for that for the heal. And that, that heal feels really powerful outside of... Um, you know, with the Red Stars. It feels even more powerful with the lower levels here. Yeah. And I think that's going to do it. That's stun landing on a defense up. Surfer is probably enough to call this. Yeah, and there goes Kestrel. Blind, big damage. Ooh, stun Surfer takes a little break from his stun to kill his teammate. And yeah, that's going to end it here. Alright, so that's one for Night King, one for Winged Wheel. Now we're going to have a Winged Wheel fight Superfly, and if Winged Wheel wins that one, then Winged Wheel will move on. What happens if they tie? What do we do? Start all uh, over again? No, no, it just goes to uh, who killed the most enemy units before they died. So right now, Superfly just took one out, so he gets one point. And I believe against um, Winged Wheel, Night King killed two targets on the corner there. So Nightning would, would edge just him out. Just making sure the people at home knew that. <laughs> good call, good call. All right, let's go ahead. We got this going now. And for Wing Wheel to have the undisputed championship over here for this for this uh, semifinal matchup, without having to go back and recount, you need to get a knockout relatively early. Let's go. Putting Doom on the bench. I mean, I spent all this time beating Dark Dimension Four, and he winds up on the bench. <laughs> Just wait until the new tech team comes out, and you have to bench him from your raid team too. I think it'll be a three-person team. Yes, but is that going to be a three-person team with uh, synergies uh, similar to what Web Warriors had, or a three-person team like Secret Avengers, where we get to pick the two? We'll have to see. Yes, I'm very excited. I got my butt whooped today. I'm very, very excited for that solution. I almost had a one-shot of the second. We have the final match. Still, still failing. Still. All right. Mega Red on the bench. I don't hate that pick. This is gonna force a little bit deeper into the into the picks, I think. Up. And Icarus. So both Eternals, eternally sitting on that bench. So I I think we're gonna see the Silver Surfer picks. So we're gonna see the um. We'll see the Captain Sam picks. All these stat monsters that are coming out. And here we go. There's the surfer. Are we going to see a... Yeah, I think we'll see Captain Sam for... Did strike one, two. Oh, Phoenix! Wow, okay. And Zemo, okay. Zemo are, is not being slept on. People uh, are still playing that card. Let's see where Wing Wheel goes with this. I think we're going to see a Kestrel pick here. Followed by probably an Emma. 
something additional speed because obviously with all the speed he has he definitely wants to keep his speed advantage i would be surprised we didn't see an emma all right well that'll be something we'll have to see if if superfly picks those up mm -hmm. he's going raw damage right now interesting it hasn't worked against the people that have kind of had heavy damage damage has definitely outweighed it this is an old school cop here mm -hmm. i think he needs some new blood to overcome this uh, kestrel surfer combo yeah, I think I think here the characters that really excel here, like an Adam Warlock, uh, that can prevent the early ability block and and uh, damage from Kestrel without the defense down. You know, you start getting that defense down with the pings, it's going to be an awful combo to try to overcome. Yeah, oh, he's, we're getting a countdown. Hopefully, he doesn't get another Cree Noble. Oh my goodness, Bishop. Okay, Ping. I don't hate the Bishop pick because then you can potentially grab a Jubilee pick and he can manage something else. Oh. And there we go. So the Captain Sam on the team. And Ooh. we just have so much of the new meta here. Yeah. That late oh, death strike is going to go super fast. Only thing I can think of is potentially just, you know, the Bishop into Jubilee combo. Backdoor Beast is the third pick and uh, potentially Whittle Down. But I, I just don't know that's enough. I get that blind on Surfer. I, I, I think that was a timeout pick, to be clear. Mm hmm yeah, I don't, I don't see how this team is going to pull it off, especially now. No, I don't think this is going to work out. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I think he has enough to get through the bishop and basically just take his pick of the litter on the kills. Uh, but maybe if he gets that ability block on surfer, it'll be okay. Well, he banned the surfer, so he doesn't have to worry about that. And, you know, the Zemo pick, I, I don't think it was as dangerous as he thought it was. I mean, uh, I'll be clear. I, I, I'm really, like, interested to see a cha-cha on this, especially adjacent to to, to, uh, to Kestrel. I think there's some power on it. Mm. Adam Warlock with the uh, ability block, but I, I'm just not sure there's a way for them to do oh. it. I think the only... That's an interesting combo. That is an interesting combo. Captain Salmon. Oof. Yes, but that is a 60% chance of getting the speed up. All right. So, the problem you're going to have is the early damage on Bishop's going to trigger the speed up. You're going to get the assist from Jubilee. It might be enough to take somebody off the board if they if they uh, they don't survive it here. So let's let's take a look. We have the traditional Kestrel into Phoenix too. So he needs to kill that Kestrel before Phoenix goes darker. He's done. Don't do not put yourself in stealth. You put yourself in stealth, you're dead. So we'll give that hit. There it is. And that's going to do it. Yeah. No, there's like a 30 second delay between us and Twitch. But fortunately, just not a lot of damage to get through those targets. And even with that assist, the pings are start plucking people off the board. And it's all she wrote. Yeah, that was too much new meta. Uh, Bishop and Jubilee are technically new meta, but they happen before Surfer, unfortunately. Yeah, they, no, they still work out pretty well if you could get good, you know, stars, red stars on them in, like, RTA, but unfortunately, this, in this matchup, the, the balance, they just don't have what they need. They definitely are, are two characters that need the red stars to really start performing well. That is absolutely correct. So that is going to push Wing Wheel into the semifinals. He's definitely the winner of that final pool. So I'm going to take this off. So there you go, our final semi-finalist is going to be Winged Wheel. I was very impressed with that Black Widow win. I thought that was really cool. But as always, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Uh, stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.